Welcome friends. In this tutorial, we shall look at solving linear equations, obtaining roots of a polynomial and obtaining roots of nonlinear equations. In the process, we shall look at defining functions as well. We would be using concepts related to arrays which we have covered in a previous tutorial. Let's begin with solving linear equations. Consider the set of equations 3x plus 2y minus z equal to 1, 2x minus 2y plus 4z equal to minus 2, minus x plus half y minus z equal to 0. We shall use the solve function to solve the given system of linear equations. Solve requires coefficients and the constants of a, any equation in the matrix form of the form ax equal to b to solve the given linear equation system. Let's start by typing ipython space hyphen pylab. We begin by entering the coefficients and the constants as matrices a equal to array of 3 comma 2 comma minus 1 comma 2 comma minus 2 comma 4 comma minus 1 comma 0 0.5 comma 1 a is a 3 cross 3 matrix of the coefficients of x, y and z respectively for all 3 equations. In B, we enter the constants B equal to array of 1 comma minus 2 comma 0. Now we can use the solve function to solve the given system. x equal to solve of A comma B type x to look at the solution obtained. The equation is of the form ax equal to b. So we, re we verify the solution by obtaining the matrix product of a and x and then comparing it with b. As we have covered earlier, we should use the dot function here and not the star operator. ax equal to dot of a comma x. Let's check what ax contains. The result ax doesn't look exactly like b. But if we carefully observe, we will see that it is the same as b. To save ourselves from all this trouble, we use the all close function. All close checks if two matrices are close enough to each other within the specified tolerance level. Here we shall use the default tolerance level. All close of ax, b. The function returns true, which implies that the product of a and x is very close to the value of b. This validates our solution x. Let's move on to finding the roots of a polynomial. We shall use the roots function for this. The function requires an array of coefficients of the polynomial in descending order of powers. Consider the polynomial x squared minus 5x plus 6 equal to 0. Let's now enter the coefficients coefs coefs equal to within square brackets 1 comma minus 5 comma 6. Here coefs is a list of all the powers in descending order. We will now calculate the roots of the polynomial by typing roots of coefs. As you can see roots returns the result in an array. It even works for polynomials with imaginary roots. Roots of within square brackets 1 comma 1 comma 1. As you can see, the result is in the form of the equation a plus bj, which implies that it's complex. What if I want the solution of nonlinear equations? For that, we shall use the fsol function. In this tutorial, we shall use the equation sin x plus cos squared x. fsol is not a part of the pylab package which we imported in the beginning, so we will have to import it. It is a part of the scipy package. Let's import it using from scipy.optimize import fsolve. Let us now look at the documentation of fsolve by typing fsolve question mark. As mentioned in the documentation, the first argument func is a python function that takes at least one argument. So we should now define a function for the given mathematical expression that is sin x plus cos squared x. The second argument x0 
is the initial estimate of the roots of the equation. Based on this initial guess, f solved returns a root. Before going ahead, let's quit the help menu. Before going ahead to get the root of the given expression, we shall le first learn how to define a function in Python. Let's define a function called f which returns the values of the mathematical expression sin x plus cos squared x for each input. We define a function by typing def space f of within parenthesis x colon hit enter note the indentation return space sin of x plus cos of x star cos of x. Hit the enter key to come out of the function definition. Def is a keyword in Python that tells the interpreter that the function definition is beginning. F here is the name of the function and x is the loan argument to the given function. The whole definition of the function is done with an indented block similar to the loops and conditional statements that we observed earlier. Our function f has just one line in its definition. We can test our function by calling it with an argument for which the output value is known, say x equal to 0. We know that sin x plus cos squared x has a value of 1 for x equal to 0. Let's check if our function definition agrees with it. f of 0. As you can see, the output is as expected. Now that we have our function, we can use f solve to obtain a root of the expression sin x plus cos squared x. Recall that f solve takes another argument, the initial guess. Let's use 0 as our initial guess. f solve of f comma 0. f solve has returned a root of sin x plus cos squared x that is close to 0. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. We have covered solution of linear equations, finding roots of polynomials, and finding roots of nonlinear equations as well. We have also learned how to define functions and call them. Hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you.